Hello guys and girls and welcome to the next Astroneer update with me Biffa, the, the 0.6.5 update to the base building update. Too many updates. No, we never can have too many updates. It is finally here. You will automatically get it on Steam. There's a link below to all the information, but we're going to go through all the new things that have been added. And I'm so glad I've been preparing my base for those that haven't seen it before, this is just my underground storage cavern. But I've been preparing to get ready for the new update. And look at this thing. My big truck has been updated to this six-wheeled behemoth. And it's going to start using up all the power. Look at this model. This is absolutely brilliant. Let's jump out and take a quick look at this. Whoa, no, not again. Ah. Oh. That things were a little bit flippy <laughs> at the moment. Let's see if we can get it to turn over without freaking out. Okay, if you do it next to something else. There we go. Cat, don't go. There we go. You stay. Good, good, good. Don't flip your vehicles over at the moment. But let's start at the front. Look, we've got this extra storage you can put on the front. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. Obviously, it's got six wheels. The turning and the driving has been improved. I'm really liking that. Uh, something that does has changed. You can't use this storage here. If you then plug that in, things will fall to the ground, which makes sense. So you've got a choice there. Do you want more storage? Do you want to drag something else along? The four truck limit is back again, due to reasons that the devs have said. But I'm really liking this change. But this is one of many, many changes uh, that have been added to the game. Let's have a look at some of them. Let's get some research going on here. There we go. So if you have a look at these, you get now a different directional uh, arrows on here. You can see there, they look a bit easier to see which way the power is going. So obviously these are bi-directional. This one is directional, heading down here, off into the distance, into nowhere. So that's good. I, I've been doing lots of research off camera. I'm going to take this with me as well. So we can make all the new things. And there's been loads and loads of new storage items that have been added. So we're going to make some of those things. But let's let's unlock them first. Here we are. This is my base. Nice and sunny up here. Let's unlock them and look at the catalogue. So some things have been rearranged. Um, slightly reordered. But if we have a look through here. Uh, let's just check. Nothing on that level, so here we go. Something new. Medium platform B. 250. Let's unlock that one. We've got 30,000 bytes and more coming. Uh, medium, large platform A. Large platform B. 500 bytes. Large platform C. 2,000 bytes. Extra large platform. 3,000 bytes. Yeah, we're going to get them all. Extra large storage. 3,000 bytes. Oxygen, priceless. There we go. <laughs> Let's get some oxygen while we're doing that. Uh, what else have we got? I think. So that's all of those. Uh, oh, there we go. Large platform D. Flipping it. There's so much. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got that one. Anything on there? We've got that one. And I think that's it for all the storages. Let's just have a quick flick through here. Uh, oh, a storm is on the way. Of course, every time we record... A storm is always on the way. What have we got here? The splitter. Oh, yeah. Let's unlock that. Another new item. Am I going to have to run and hide? Can I get all these unlocked before we have to run and hide? There we go. That's everything. I'm going to sit out the storm. Okay, the storm has gone. We're back. So, a little tip for you. When you've unlocked a load of things and you want to print them out. Uh, let's see. Is anything added to this one? So, nothing's been added to the medium printer. And if we have a look on here... Uh, nothing's been added to this one either. Anything new. But what you can do, if you come over to the starting platform, hold down Q to examine, and you can reinitialize re your cargo drop. So if we do that, there we go. And we get a platform. And we get a printer. So let's put those onto here. Let's unpack this. There we go. And let's unpack that. There we go. And now if we have a look at this, so you can either hold down Q or Control left click to open it straight up. Now we should have large platform B, large platform C, D, extra large platform. Everything has been added onto this one. Right, so we've got large platform A. That's the normal larger platform that we have around here. The next one is large platform B. That also takes two resin. So let's print that one. 
Let's move out the way. We probably need to grab some more resin as well. I've got some compounds standing by ready. And I've got some other stuff ready that we need. Okay, here we go. This one is ready to open. Ooh, there we go. So this is the first of the new platforms. It's like a square platform as, a, as opposed to an oblong sort of platform. I quite like the idea of that going on here. There we go. We'll move that one over there. And then we can store stuff on the back that we need for printing. So that could be quite nice. Or we went, Oh, hang on. Let's take that back. Although we may upgrade this again. Let's get that to hook in. Is there a side hook in point? Yes, there is. There we go. Excellent. What is next on the list? So that was large platform B. We have large platform C, which needs two aluminium. Well, I can do that. There we go. And let's make... Now, this is the one I'm really excited for. Large platform C. I think that's going to look absolutely fantastic. So let's print that one out. We should have a load of resin ready. Okay, so here we go. This is large platform C. Look at the amount of storage you can get on there. You can put your storage items in the middle like that, which is very cool. Let's grab this one on the back. You can't put these on the side up here, but I was thinking this would be great for... You could have a little setup with all of your tools and things, your augments and anything particular that you want to take uh, out with you. So you could have one of these if you're going to go mining. Then you could have another one that you could say, so mining and have your lights and things like that on. Um, the one if you're going to go exploring on the planet's surface would have solar panels and stuff so stored on the side, spare batteries. You can have different sort of setups depending on what you're going to do. So I can see myself using this one a lot. That looks really, really cool. Then we've got this one here, the Big Daddy. Let's unpack this one. That was large platform D. And look at that. This is like a display case of stuff. So you can either display things there. Or I was thinking what I would do with this one. Is I could like put all of my batteries on here. Batteries and solar panels. Uh, so let's grab those. In fact, I'll have the batteries on the bottom. How many will it hold? One, two, three, four... Five. Perfect. Just the right amount. And let's switch that out with this one here. Oh, by the way, you can move large solar panels. Let's unhook that with a winch again, which is something that um, wasn't working properly in the last update, but that's been fixed. So let's see if we can fit this in here. <laughs> oh, no, don't leave. Please don't go. No, nope, it's fine. It's settled down again. <laughs> It's like my main source of power. There we go. We'll hook that into there. And then we'll hook that into there. Excellent. And then on top of that, I could see myself putting some solar panels like this. There we go. Absolutely perfect. And having a nice row of those along there. We could, in fact, make some more of those. Okay, let's get myself some copper. Something else that's been fixed. There we go. They will now auto-pull and auto-push like they used to do in and out of your storage. So that's going to make things much, much quicker. If we've got space on my back, I'll grab one. I'll grab two. Aha! Uh -huh. Also... There we go. Takes these on and off automatically as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Makes things so much quicker and easier. Let's pop that on there, and that will fill up with those. Thank you very much. And there we go. Final solar panel. So now we've got five solar panels, five batteries, and this massive solar panel powering our base, which is absolutely brilliant. So, yep, yeah, that's something we can do. Excellent. What else is there? Let's have a look. What else have we got on here? We have the large one was the large platform D. Yep, yeah, we did that one. Extra large platform takes two aluminium. Let's get that one made. Let's look at this one here. Whoa, look at the size of this. Ping. Oh my goodness me. That is pretty big. So that's a big hexagonal one. Maybe you could have that in the center of your base. But it's got so many power connections coming off the sides. Can we add any... Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> it's like, I'm going to print here. I'm going to print nowhere. Yep. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. There we go. Look, examine. Of course we do. Yes, we need to examine, don't we? I forgot about that. It's changed. So large storage. Yes, we can. We can fit two large storage on there then. We can fit an extra large storage on the top. Oh, my goodness. We'll maybe come back to that and the crane and the seat. Okay, well, let's remove that one over here out of the way. You go over there. What about here, then? Do you mind? Stand still. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can get 
What we can get on here? Crane, extra large storage. No, but we can get a large store. Whoa, oh, we had it. <laughs> and then I moved. We can get a large storage in the middle of that. Excellent. Well, that's worth knowing. And I'm assuming we'll be able to do the same with this one here as well. Let's pop that there. Move that out of the frame. Yeah, we can do it on that one as well. Excellent. Well, I tell you what then. Let's just move this one aside. Let us make one of the extra large storages to go onto here. So, control, left click to open it straight up. Extra large storage. Two aluminium, two compounds. Let's pop that onto there. And I'm very excited about this huge dome storage. We'll see what we can do with that. That's going to take a while, so we'll let that go. Well, for some reason, it stopped halfway through. What the heck is going on? There's power going through. So, the aluminium we've got... Oh, it needs to switch from one to the other. Oh, okay. So, it did the compound first. We had plenty of compound. Five out of two. Well, it needs two. We had five. Then he got to switch to the aluminium. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure that's probably going to quick switch. But, yep, here we go. Let's carry on with this one. Right, well, here is the dome storage on top of this. And I think this thing looks... <laughs> it's like a disco ball. I think this thing looks absolutely fantastic. I love it. And what can it hold? Well, it can't hold any of the storage. Uh, you can't put individual things on it. You can't put things like batteries on it. Because they need the, the, the double slots. Uh, let's put that back on there again. There we go. They need the double slots. But what you can put on here... You can put individual items. You can put items you want to sort of display on there. You can also put lights on here. And, oh, okay. Well, I know why those aren't lit up. I don't know why this one... This one seems to be bugged out and is always lit up wherever I put it. So that's like an anomaly. But the rest aren't lit up because they're brand new and I've just made them. And we need to attach some power from here to here. And here to there. And there we go. We can start lighting this thing up. I think that is going to be perfect for in the centre of an underground base, like down there, that's going to have a load of storage around it. This is time to plug my LP that I have on this channel for Astroneer. Uh, there'll be another episode tomorrow where we're going to start putting some of these new items to use in our base. So be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that. And I'm going to build a base around this thing covered in lights. God, I think it's fantastic. Right, let's take a look at the new base on a truck that you can now do. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we can add onto the truck. We're going to build a large rover. That takes four aluminium. Because now we can put a base on the back of a truck. How does that sound? I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, I'm just checking what you can put on the back of these things. Extra large storage will actually go on the back of there. Obviously the crane, all the different seats. Yep, that's good. The large storage as normal. But I want to make myself some different base parts. And here comes a storm. And see how they fit on the back of there. Well, I think this is a pretty good one to add onto the back. <laughs> here we go. Let's plop that on there. Oh, let's get it to attach. Unpack that. An on-the-go researcher. How about that? That is absolutely fantastic idea. So you can now head out into the world and research on the go. And of course, you've got absolutely tons of space. So let's give this a try then. I'm going to put a solar panel on there. There we go. We'll wait for these to fill up. Got two of these on the back. We have our researcher on the top. And then we could even put a couple of storage... A couple of empty storage things on the front. Just for anything that we find while we are out and about. But I think that is absolutely fantastic to be able to have a mobile base. There we go. Let's grab that one there. Let's wait until this filled up. A mobile base. I mean, what else would you want to put on there and take with you? I mean, let's have a look at this. By the way, my, me my other medium printer now shows everything. So a trade platform. So you could go out, dig up a load of stuff, immediately trade it for other things. A printer, you could take one of those with you. A smelter, yep, you can on-the-go on smelt stuff. Power would still become a bit of an issue, wouldn't it? But I think you could probably deal with that with some solar panels on one. If you put one of these trucks here full of solar panels and batteries, I think you'd have plenty of power. Mineral extractor, so my mining machine that I take into the cave under the mountain stick one of these on the back and that can be working away 
making compound while I'm digging, I can do two things at once. And, oh, what else? There's a couple of things at the end. Um, hydrogen, yeah, if we find some of that while we're caving. Research, vehicle bay, not too sure. Trade platform, yeah, that's pretty cool. That is a pretty cool addition. So that's filled up. So we can now put these on the front as well. We have got so much storage. Let's give this thing a go. In we jump. Whoa, I was wondering what was going to happen there. And let's let's see how this thing steers. I'm liking the six wheels, I have to say. And you know what I wanted? Oh, no, it's going to flip like mad when I get out, isn't it? Oh, no, thank goodness it didn't. Right, okay. <laughs> I wonder if that's the thing with only the old trucks that have been upgraded rather than... Rather than new trucks. What I don't want to take with me is any of these. I want to take some compound with me. Ready for... There we go. In case we want to make some beacons to find our way back. So let's grab some of that. Yep, that should be good. And let us go for a little journey and see if we can find some research. And research on the go. Oh my goodness, I don't want to fall down any of these holes. <laughs> let's be careful. Let's not be silly. Let's go this way. So the trucks now are supposed to handle better. And I would say the steering is a bit nicer. Not as quick. Whether that's because we've got it loaded down with a base on the back, I'm not sure. Oh, there's some stuff we could grab. But actually, it is seeming a lot easier and nicer to steer. Which is quite good. I'm liking that. Aha! We found our first research that we can research on the go. Let's jump out of this. Let's grab that. Stick it in the back. Lovely, lovely. Is that attached? Let's have a look. It is attached. Let's check this. So this is going to eat through my power <laughs> like nobody's business. There we go. But we can now research on the go. That is absolutely fantastic. There we go. 19,000 research and growing. I might just... I don't know. Let's leave it going. Let's see if we last the night. Let's jump back into here. And it may be that by the time we get back to day again, it will start charging us up. I want to see if we can drive and research at the same time. <laughs> That's the one of my goals now with this new base in a box or base on a truck that we have. Okay, so we're back at the base again. I just wanted to set up another one of these extra large storage items. I think these are really cool. I like these a lot. And then see if we can get... Let's have a look. A seat on it. No, not a seat. Some ex some of the large storage on either side. So we're going to need a load of compound. I've been making a load of stuff as well. I tell you what, the auto... There we go. The auto filling of the machines now working correctly. Oh, it's so good. It really helps. Let's just pop that on there. So if we swap that one for that one, that will just automatically go. Which is great. And then if we want some more, we can do that. There we go. And make ourselves a ton of compound. Oh, that's so good. There we go. That last one will stay on there. We'll put the compound in there. Swap that there to keep. We'll take that off. And we'll say, off you go. There we go. This is automatically working in the background. This is all my used up soil. There we go. I've done a lot of digging off camera. And we'll get a ton of compound and put that on there. And you can see I've also used one of these upstanding ones. There we go. For a trade station. So you could put your items on the side. Generally, titanium is the best thing to trade, isn't it? You get the good, best bang for buck. Bang for your buck. Um, so I put those on the side there. Excellent. There we go. Let's grab these. And go and pop these onto here. Uh, do we have some space? Yes. Let's take that off. Pop that on there. Excellent. There we go. So let's get one of those going. Large storage. Yes, please. And then I'm going to put one on the other side as well. So the next truck that I would like to make. So we've got a mobile... Well, the start of a mobile research station. We're going to have to sort of think about this a bit. It needs to carry enough power um, that it can be driven and researched at the same time. So I reckon a second truck on the back with maybe some big storage on like one of these over here this truck over here could be repurposed and it could have a couple of batteries on the back some solar panels and then it's got more space as well to hold all the research you will find so that's one idea for a truck um the other idea for a truck i'm going to do this one in my next episode is jump down here 
is this one, which is my soil gathering one that's got the the drill and stuff on the top. Let's take those off there. So I normally have this all hooked together like this and all of these on the back uh, filled with all sorts of canisters and things like that. Um, but I'd like on here a third truck. Oh, there's another empty one. It's a bit dark down here, isn't it? I haven't got my lights on my on my back. Can I make one? No. Um, and, and I'd like a third big truck and to have on it one of the soil processing uh, sediment filter processing machines. I think that would be very cool. She could do it on the go. Was there another research I spotted around here? No, there wasn't. I was seeing things. So you could do that on the go. I think that would be fantastic. Right, let's go and get the other the other research added to this one. I also want that big dome thing in the middle. We'll do that next episode as well. No, I'm going to die. No, I'm not. Oh, oh my goodness me. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. <laughs> uh, can I get down from here? This seems very high. Uh, that, that seems the nearest spot. Oh, we made it. Oh, hang on. Aha, here we go. It's finished. Let's have a look at this thing. So as it stands, this is going to hold the most uh, of these medium storages. Because if we have a look over here, the last ones, these here at the back, these ones held six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This one will hold eight. So actually, I'm foreseeing a base <laughs> made out of these hexagonal things or a storage area made out of these hexagonal things i'm actually even getting more excited about our underground storage base that we've started digging out and working on it's going to be lit up it's going to be absolutely filled with these things look at that so that now holds eight it's got all the connections on and you can carry it with you so if you're going to do what i've been doing which is run off and grab a load of sediment and dig it out yourself with your boost mod and your wide mod. Whoops. You can carry this with you and store all of your soil sediment on that and then dump it by your machine. Uh -huh. And it will automatically um, put it into the machine, change it into lovely stuff for you. Ah, uh, this update. Lots of quality of life uh, additions to this game, which I'm really, really enjoying. That's cool. Right, just a couple of small things that I've missed that I want to quickly add into here is the splitter, of course. So you can only actually make that from the small fabricator. That's the fabricator you make on your back. Uh, it's not in the medium fabricator or the printer or your backpack. Oh, well, that's the case for me. It takes one copper. Let's make one of those. There we go. And this is a very cool item. Let's have a look at this. Let's unpack this one. So this is basically a three-way power splitter. Let's plug it in and see what we can do. Uh, at the moment, I've got no power hooked up to my base because I've been doing some other stuff. But let's see if we can get this working. So if we undo that, undo that, and take that. If we add this into the middle. So let's attach that to the back and then take a look. So there we go, we've got the power coming in and at the moment all the power is going through and you're getting a visual indication there as well of how much power. Uh, and then what you can do is you can split that off in two different directions. So let me unplug that one and I'm going to go to there and then go to there. There we go, so we're now splitting off as well. And if we take a look at that, so... That's connection one, two, and three. And you can sort of change this, how much power. So this is all the power going in, and then how much power you want going out. And if you look at this visual indication of the arrows going to the left, uh, that is slot number one. And you can see as we set it down to zero, they go out, and then there we go. And you can put it all the way up. So the actual power adjusting, I'm wondering what that might be used for. Um, for turning things off, I think that could be quite good. So you've got over here a machine that you don't want taking the power because you want it all to go to your research machine, for instance. So you up the power to your research side. But definitely for splitting things off without having to put a platform in the middle, just for one copper, I think that's pretty good. And you could sort of put more of these next to each other and, and change it all up. I think that's quite nice. So we'll add that back to there. And also one other thing I forgot to mention is the new Mini Rover has got a slight change as well. I've just been playing around with that. There we go. We can see that looks slightly different. Oh, I just decided to put an enclosed seat on the front and really feel like I'm driving a moon buggy. Let's jump in. Hey, hey. <laughs> look at that. Can't even shut the door when I'm driving this, but this little thing whips around rather quickly. Yep, I quite like that. <laughs> Handbrake turn. 
So what's your favourite new addition in the game? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the big B with the tea stain up in the corner there to subscribe so you don't miss out on my new episodes of Astroneer. Uh, they're going to be every day for a couple of days and then I normally alternate them with Oxygen Not Included as new updates come out in that. But you want to be here. You want to see what we can do with all these cool new things. Thank you very much for watching don't forget to leave a like before you go and i will see you tomorrow for the next episode take care see you then bye bye